She was a vibrant, active mom to two little boys until a horrific accident at a go-kart track left her in a vegetative state. Target 8 has learned that Rachel Gibbs died early this year at 46 years old, five years after her scarf got caught in a go-kart wheel at AJ's Family Fun Center in Comstock Park. Target 8 investigator Susan Samples reports that state lawmakers are close to toughening safety rules for carnivals and amusement parks. Susan. That's right, Sue and Brian. Rachel Gibbs died in January in a long-term care facility in England where she'd been living in a permanent vegetative state since the go-kart accident. Gibbs lived in the UK with her husband and two small boys, but was visiting her parents and sister here when an outing to AJ's Family Fun Center changed all of their lives forever. She lived very much in the, in the moment and enjoying life, always had a very positive outlook. Rachel Gibbs, her husband and two boys were nearing the end of their two and a half week visit with family here, set to fly home to England the next day. It was late summer 2015. It was a chilly day, it was August, but it was a chilly day, so she had a, Rachel had a scarf on, so did my mom. According to a lawsuit filed later, track attendants said nothing about the scarves as the group belted into go-karts and took off, and signs at the track warned only of long hair, nothing about loose clothing. The scarf got caught in the axle of the tire and cut off her windpipe. Um, so she didn't have oxygen to her brain. Gibbs was without oxygen for about 10 minutes, according to her sister, Corey Sandwick, who says it appeared track attendants had no training on accident prevention nor response. They were not prepared at all. The employees didn't really know what to do. Nobody knew CPR, no first aid kit. Sandwick says a bystander took over and did CPR and Gibbs' husband called 911. He had asked some of the employees for the address of where they were and nobody knew. AJ's ultimately settled the Gibbs lawsuit for $1 million and Sandwick reached out to State Representative Tom Albert to work on strengthening Michigan's regulations. Compared to other states, um, this process is, is lacking in how businesses train staff. The state already inspects rides, but Albert's bill passed out of committee this week would require that these businesses train their employees in prevention and emergency procedures. For training right now, there's not really any training requirements. Uh, so uh, each individual operator would have to have uh, training in place. They'd have to keep a log of it. The bill would also require businesses to report serious injuries or deaths to the state. Albert worked with regulators and the carnival industry itself. Our association is in support of this bill. Target 8 visited AJ's this week. They didn't know we were there. Two changes we noted, signs, including one right at the track's entrance, now warn specifically about loose clothing. And the attendants we saw were actively monitoring the race, pacing back and forth in the middle. It's been hard. Sandwick and her parents were at Gibbs' bedside when she died in January, though they'd already lost the beloved sister and daughter they knew, as did her husband and two little boys, five and seven at the time of the accident. We've been told that she's not been aware of anything since that point. She's free now. Albert's bill now goes to the House floor for a vote and then on to the Senate. He expects things to move more quickly since he has already worked with the industry and made adjustments to the bill over three plus years. I did reach out to AJ's management after I checked out their track. They did not respond to my request for comment. Back to you.